Hare Krishna devotees, welcome to Shloka Day. Today's Shloka is Shloka 26 and 27 of chapter 17. Sadbhave sadhu bhave cha. Sadbhave sadhu bhave cha. Sadityate tat prayujyate. Sadityate tat prayujyate. Prashaste karmani tatha. Prashaste karmani tatha. Satchabda partha yujyate. Satchabda partha yujyate. Yagne tapasidane cha. Yagne tapasidane cha. Sthite sad iti chochyate. Sthite sad iti chochyate. Karma chaiva tadarthiyam. Karma chaiva tadarthiyam. Sadityate vabhidhiyate. Sadityate vabhidhiyate. Word for word meaning translation and purport by His Divine Grace. Shila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. Sat bhave. Sat bhave. In the sense of the nature of the Supreme. In the sense of the nature of the Supreme. Sadhu bhave. Sadhu bhave. In the sense of the nature of the devotee. In the sense of the nature of the devotee. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Sat. Sat. The word sat. The word sat. Iti. Iti. Thus. Thus. Etat. Etat. This. This. Prayujyate. Prayujyate. Is used. Is used. Prashaste. Prashaste. In bona fide. In bona fide. Karmani. Karmani. Activities. Activities. Tatha. Tatha. Also. Also. Sat shabdaha. Sat shabdaha. The sound sat. The sound sat. Partha. Partha. O son of Pritha. O son of Pritha. Yujyate. Yujyate. Is used. Is used. Yagne. Yagne. In sacrifice. In sacrifice. Tapasi. Tapasi. In penance. In penance. Dane. Dane. In charity. In charity. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Stitihi. Stitihi. The situation. The situation. Sat. Sat. The supreme. The supreme. Iti. Iti. Das. Das. Cha. Cha. And. And. Uchyate. Uchyate. Is pronounced. Is pronounced. Karma. Karma. Work. Work. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Eva. Eva. Certainly. Certainly. Tat. Tat. For that. For that. Arthiyam. Arthiyam. Meant. Meant. Sat. Sat. The Supreme. The Supreme. Iti. Iti. Das. Das. Eva. Eva. Certainly. Certainly. Abhidhiyate. Abhidhiyate. Is indicated. Is indicated. Translation. The absolute truth. The absolute truth is the objective of devotional sacrifice. Is the objective of devotional sacrifice. At, and it is indicated by the word sat. And it is indicated by the word sat. The performer of such sacrifice. The performer of such sacrifice is also called sat. Is also called sat. As are all works of sacrifice. As are all works of sacrifice. Penance. And charity. And charity. Which true to the absolute nature. Which true to the absolute nature. Are performed. Are performed. To please the supreme person. To please the supreme person. O son of Pratha. O son of Pratha. Okay. 
Prabhupada writes in the purport, the word prashaste karmani or prescribed duties indicate that there are many activities prescribed in the Vedic literature which are purificatory processes beginning from the time of conception up to the end of one's life. Such purificatory processes are adopted for the ultimate liberation of the living entity. In all such activities, it is recommended that one vibrate om tatsat, one vibrate om tatsat. The words sat bhave and sadhu bhave indicate the transcendental situation. <clears throat> Acting in Krishna consciousness is called sattva. And one who is fully conscious of the activities of Krishna consciousness is called a sadhu. In the Srimad Bhagavatam 3.25.25, it is said that the transcendental subject matter becomes clear in the association of the devotees. The words used are satam prasangat. Without good association, one cannot achieve transcendental knowledge. When initiating a person or offering the sacred thread, one vibrates the words Om Tat Sat. Similarly, in all kinds of performance of yajna, the object is the supreme Om Tat Sat. The words Tadarthiyam further means offering service to anything which represents the supreme, including such service as cooking and helping in the Lord's temple or any other kind of work for broadcasting the glories of the Lord. These supreme words, Om Tat Sat, are thus used in many ways to perfect all activities and make everything complete. <clears throat> From another parampara, now the auspiciousness of the word Sat is being glorified by Sri Krishna. This word Sat has many connotations and the above two verses describe some of these. Sat is used to mean perpetual goodness and virtue. In addition, auspicious performance of sacrifice, charity, and austerity is also described as sat. Sat also means that it, which always exists. That is, it is an eternal truth. The Srimad Bhagavatam states, Satyavratam satya param trisatyam satyasya yonim nihitam cha satye satyasya satyam rita satya netram satyatmakam tvam sharanam prapannah O Lord, your vow is true, for not only are you the supreme truth, but you are also the truth in the three phases of the cosmic manifestation, creation, maintenance, and dissolution. You are the origin of all that is true, and you are also its end. You are the essence of all truth, and you are also the eyes by which the truth is seen. Therefore, we surrender unto you the Sat, that is the supreme absolute truth. Kindly give us protection. So here His Grace Chaitanya Charan Prabhu is just summarizing the three shlokas that indicated Om Tat Sat. So Krishna has first talked about Om, then he has talked about Tat, and now he is talking about Sat. Material Swadharma is as para Varna and Ashrama. We do our duties, which means everything on the material platform that we do there are prescribed duties and responsibilities for us based on our varna and ashrama. As per that, the swadharma, which is your personal responsibilities have to be conducted. And transcendental swadharma, which is also called nitya dharma, is for our practice of bhakti and ultimately getting liberation from material existence. So the two always go hand in hand. Swadharma and nitya dharma. Nitya dharma should be prioritized. Swadharma should not be neglected. So prashaste karmani, whatever material and spiritual duties one does, that we can connect with the absolute truth. Spiritual dharma is connected and material dharma also we can connect. So everything can be dovetailed in Krishna consciousness. That is the actual beauty of Krishna consciousness. We don't need to separate swadharma from nitya dharma. Everything Prabhupada says can become spiritualized or Krishnaized. Everything that we do, even on the material platform, can become spiritual. The starting question in this chapter was about a person who does, who does not have faith in scripture. So Krishna said that one has to come to the level 
where one is having faith in scripture and chanting Om Tat Sat can help one to come from non-scriptural to scriptural faith, which is like the second name of God, this Om Tat Sat. Chanting of other names of God will also help. Those names should be referring to the attributes of God as per scriptures. As Prabhupada has explained many times, all the names that Krishna possesses comes from his activities, comes from his um, characteristics, from his features, from his leelas. So everything to do with the Lord, including his names, are actually talking about the Lord's attributes. So if we want to recite the holy names of the Lord, we should recite the Maha Mantra, which is the Yuga Dharma for Kali Yuga. So with that, we come to the conclusion of Om Tat Sat. And there's one more shloka left in this chapter, which we will cover tomorrow, which is very, very important because the Lord is going to give a conclusion to this chapter and to the question that Arjuna asked at the beginning of this chapter. What if one has faith in something else other than the scriptures? If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.